What is going on everyone? This is Central Virginia EAS here. And today I am going to show you how to program your Motorola XTS 1500 or Astro series. How to uh, program it for conventional scanning or whatever. Uh, just how to listen to like using it as a scanner and stuff like that. Yeah, I made, the, I made a video about how to do this a long time ago or something like that. But I'm going to make a more detailed tutorial on how to do this. And then let's get started. So first, you will need a serial to, or yeah, USB to serial, which I recommend, and a Motorola Astro or XTS, whatever, XTS program, programming cable. And it should have a serial cable, or serial input at the end. So next, you're going to need Astro 25 portable CPS. So what you do is you're going to connect your serial cable, your USB serial, to the serial cable to the uh, programming cable. Once all that is hooked up, connect it. Connect this part to the radio right here. There should be a clip right here. Just hook it right there. All right, this is what it should look like. So now you want to go to Astro CPS, Astro Portable. Press Start CPS, or if you got yours new, whatever. I don't want to close that. Then I uh, completely, so I completely erased everything on the radio. And yes, it says it has low battery on it. <laughs> okay, we're still gonna do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press here. You're gonna go to this where it says read device. It may ask you to select the COM port. It's gonna beep at you once. And Astro 25 portable CPS. Here's your tree. Now let's get started with programming the radio. So first we want to make a conventional personality. We're gonna to go to conventional personality. We're gonna go right here. Press conventional con, conventional personality one. If you are scanning, always check the receive only personality. This will prevent any accident, or yeah, this will prevent pressing the PTT accidentally. So, signaling, we'll set that up later. MDC, we're not gonna mess with Astro or anything like that. So yeah, that's all, that is all. Um, if you want to be analog, you're going to press non-astro. So now we are going to set up our channels. All right, to set up your frequencies or channels or whatever, you're going to go to zone channel assignments. It should say zone channel assignment one. Double click that. You're going to go to channels. Also, I'm using a trackpad, so you're probably going to have to press it once or maybe twice. I'm not sure. Uh, with a mouse or something like that. It's going to say chain one CVN. 450.075. It may have a different frequency depending on which model of your radio is or what's, what version. Mine is UHF. So it's going to say 450.075 when you're programming it or when you delete or like that, something like that. If you make a new channel assignment or zone. Whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to radioreference.com. I'm going to go to my county, which is Prince Edward. You go to your county. And we're going to go to the frequency the main dispatch is on. However, if your county is trunked, I'm afraid uh, you can't really do anything about it. And some of these models do have the ability to scan trunk, uh, not scan, but to be able to trunk. But you can't do, the, the only way to be able to listen to it is non-affiliate. But with these, you can't do non-affiliate. And I don't think you can do non-affiliate on, on either this or any of uh, any other XTS or other radio. So yeah, if you want to listen to your county's trunk system, I recommend using a scanner. Uh, make sure you get a BCD 436HP or a 996P2 or whatever you feel like is best for you. That's what I just recommend. But I have none of that, just to let you know. This is what I recommend. I do have a 996P2. And yes, it's low battery, but that's okay. So, my frequency for my dispatch is 460-560-525. Four, 
your main dispatch frequency may be different than mine, obviously enough. It could be UHF. And if it is UHF, make sure you get the UHF version of your XTS or XTL or whatever it is. So what we're gonna do go here what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to chan one. We're gonna rename that to PR FD. Oh, it just beeped at me. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it like that. You can actually name it whatever you want. So just for giggles, we're gonna do that. So now to program the frequency. Also, make sure it says CSQ because some some people on the make sure it's the CSQ because if you have it set to a different PL tone, you may not hear them speaking or any, anything like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to receive frequency. We're gonna go we're gonna press 460, 525, and you enter your frequency the main dispatch is on. For my is 460, 525. Scroll all the way here. All this should be grayed out. You don't have to bother any of this. I won't let you, at least. So yeah, there you go. That is how to program conventional or analog or whatever like that. I will now show you how to program P25. Okay, I forgot to mention, now that we have made our configuration, we're gonna go here and it should say write to device or write device. When you press this, it's gonna say verifying that the device can accept the current co-plug. There it is, programming mode. And, right successful. <laughs> there it is. So, now if I press the PTT button, will it transmit? No, because you set it to receive only. So that is a very good thing. Okay, so now that we programmed our radio to scan on analog, I will now show you how to scan on P25. So we're gonna go back to radio reference. Um, I'm gonna block this out because I don't want you guys to hack my sheriff's department dispatch. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we are going to go back to conventional. We're gonna go to conventional and we're gonna go back to conventional personality. We're gonna go to one. We're going to press the plus button right here. We're also gonna make that receive only. And since it's gonna be P25, we're gonna put it to Astro. So now we're gonna go back to our computer. Instead of it saying PL or DPL, it's going to say NAC. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to the zone channel assignment. We're going to press plus. Actually, don't press plus. We're going to press plus up here. And it's going to say Chan 2. So my dispatch, my uh, police dispatches or sheriff's dispatches frequency is 460. Point two three seven five, and we're gonna put the personality to two. So now we're just gonna do this. Yeah. So now we're going to go to. See, I'll notice how it also marked out the PL. Receive type squelch. So now we're gonna go to here. Direct TX RX network ID. We're going to put in the RX network ID. So. See, it says NAC right here. Your uh, your uh, department's NAC may be different than mine, but for the sake of the sheriff's department or police department, I'm not going to give out the NAC. So we're going to enter the NAC. All right. All right. Now, once I enter the NAC. Direct the, the direct network ID should have the same NAC, the na same numbers you put in, as the RX network ID. So yeah. So the TX network ID is gonna stay 293 because we are not going to do anything with the TX network ID. So yeah. So now all of that is set. We will press the X right here and we will press right device. All right, now we're going to go to channel two to see if the transmission works. Also, I'll press PTT just to show, and yeah, just to show that it is, won't transmit. Okay, we're not gonna wait any longer. Uh, I'll let you guys know if if the uh, voice comes in. So yeah. So my apologies, your transmission's in and out. Can you try it again, please? 
So now that you've created a P25 conventional channel or frequency or whatever, I will now show you how to set up a scan list. So what I will do is I will set up the TAC channels uh, for my fire department. So as you can see, it says TAC1, TAC2, TAC3. TAC1 is 453, 400, 458, 400, and 465, 550. We're gonna go over here. Also, you do not have to create a scan list if you don't want to just have your radio uh, mon constantly monitor uh, the channels you've set on your scan list. So if you don't wanna set a scan list, make sure you skip to the next part of this video. So just create a scan list. So, I'm, for, so for my scan list, I'm gonna monitor my TAC channels. We're gonna go to conventional, we're gonna go to conventional personality one. We're gonna press the plus. We're gonna put this to receive only again. And then we are going to go to scan. We're gonna to go to scanless configuration. Okay, we're gonna make that. All right there, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna leave scan configuration alone. So we're gonna go to scanless. Make sure it says conventional. If your radio says trunking, just just leave that alone. Trunking system, yeah, we're just, keep it to keep it to conventional. So if we go to list, you can see everything is unassigned. That is because we do not have our frequencies for our, we do not have the frequencies to scan yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, back to our zone channel assignment. We're gonna press the plus, and I'm just gonna name this one. You can name it to any, anything you want, like I said before. We're gonna put this to three. We're gonna put it to number three, personality three. So I will start entering the TAC channel frequencies. So hold on just a second. Now that I have entered my TAC frequencies, we're going to go back to our scan list. Actually, you know what we're gonna to go to? All right, now we're gonna to go to conventional personality. We're gonna to go to conventional personality three. We're gonna to go to scan. Scan list selection will be one. And you can have automatic scan if you want to, I don't know. We're going to go to scan list one. I'm gonna to go to list and we are going to press one because that is the zone channel assignment we have for the list. We're going to go to three, four. Oh wait, we gotta enter these things here. We're gonna put three, four, and five. And then put the fire dispatch in there because we want we want it once we're, when we're on attack channel we want it to scan the fire dispatch so we're gonna go to conventional personality three we're gonna go to scan yes yeah, scanless one and now here's the attack channels and stuff like that channels I have my attack frequencies in here we're gonna press right to device All right, now one, two, and three. Also notice how it has the zigzag right there. That means it's on a scan list. This is not on scan. Okay, that was a squelch. This is not on a scan. Okay, so it's on a scan list, but when you're on the fire dispatch, it's not gonna scan the tag channels. So when I'm on one, it's going to go all the way to fire dispatch. If I'm on two, it's going to go all the way to fire dispatch if there's a uh, chatter on fire dispatch. If I'm on two, it's going to go to one. If I'm on two, it's going to go to three. If I'm on three, it's going to go to one. And if I'm on three, it's going to go to two. Y you get the point, you get the point. Uh, whenever the chatter or a transmission is going to go to that channel and listen. 105. All company one units, clear by command, we're all in service. So now I will show you how 
to set up signaling. All right, so now let's get to the signaling. Today we're only just gonna do the Motorola Quick Call. So to set up signaling, we're gonna go to conventional right here. We're gonna go to Quick Call 2. We're gonna go to Quick Call System 1. And it's gonna say A, B. That is the first tone, then the second tone. A, B, A, C, that is the first tone. A, B, then A, and then C. That's what it decodes. So, now we're just going to leave it right there. 358.6 and 903.2. We're going to go, we're going to close this. And we're going to go to conventional personality. We're going to go to one. We go to signaling. We go to none. Or, yeah, we go to signaling type. We go to quick call. So now, this conventional personality, the fire dispatch, can now receive two-tone. I will demonstrate that soon. So now to now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press right device. All right, so there we go. Now it can receive two-tone. So now I'm gonna change the two-tone frequencies to my fire dispatch two-tone. So, yeah. I also did forget to mention that you do have to press a call alert decode or selective call. Selective call will just make, it'll just make a beep boop noise and that's about it. I don't know what in call user alert enable is, but okay. So yeah, now let's get to the conclusion of this video. All right, and that concludes this tutorial on how to program your Motorola XCS series radio or Astro series radio. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this did help you program your Motorola Astro radio. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if I'm not at the computer, it may have a small delay, but I promise I'll get to you back as soon as possible. Without further ado, this is Central Virginia EAS signing out. Goodbye.